Donors at One Blood in Orlando are trickling in. Hal Rhodes is one of them. You never can tell when you're going to need it yourself. The folks at One Blood say they need more people like Hal. Blood supplies in Central Florida are low. First of all, the blood supply is tight, okay? It is tight and we need people to continue to donate. Unfortunately, the blood supply all too often is taken for granted, but it can't be. And nationally, the American Red Cross has officially sounded the alarm, saying supplies are so low in some areas of the country, blood centers have less than a one-day supply, the lowest level they've seen in recent years. What's going on? Well, in one word, COVID. As more people get sick, fewer people can or will come in. Donors catch COVID-19 too, and then they're not able to donate. And that's that many more people that are out of the donor pool. For example, fewer schools are having blood drives calling for the big red bus. Fewer businesses, many times because their workers are working remotely. Might surprise you to learn blood drives account for about 20% of the blood supply and the need for blood never ends. There are patients right now receiving blood transfusions, cancer patients, premature babies, sickle cell patients, trauma patients. Hal said he came in because he saw a story about this very problem. It doesn't cost me anything but a bit of time and, and mild inconvenience and um, somebody else needs it. Needs a second chance at life. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. And the people at One Blood say that